Hello and welcome to Channel Sports on Sunday. I am Ken Ochonago. It's another breezy weekend of sports and uh, uh, we just have to keep you there as you follow us along. Uh, where do we start? Do we start from the, the heart-breaking one? Um, if you ask, maybe two days ago, the news did break. And it didn't come officially because it came from one of those, ob I, didn't, I want to say, obscure website. Uh, uh, it in some, some of us were doubting uh, that um, our own divine Ududuru has been banned for six years. And then uh, we went to check the AIU, uh, the AIU website, and then we didn't see anything on that. So we just said, probably, let's hope for some confirmation. But then when the confirmation came, it came exactly as we never expected it. So uh, uh, it is what it is now. Uh, divine, you know, is, is to serve a six-year ban out of athletics. And we don't know when it's going to come back because it's, uh, it takes a retroactive from 2023. And by 2029, February, 20, February 9, 2029, uh, that is when he is going to come back. Uh, I don't know, for, for a promising star, uh, that is what it is. That is what it is for now. So uh, we'll look at, we, 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 we'll get... Um, our expert who has always been joining us to talk about you know sports medicine and then he will give us you know what exactly you know this this means to, to divine to other athletes also who indulge in performance enhancing drugs i uh, remember that uh well, you know we the, the, we came to us a rude, a rude awakening to us all when that shock came shortly before the commencement of tokyo olympics when our best athlete in the past decade uh, uh you know arguably is the very best that we've had you know during this period, uh, bless no Kagbari was asked, and we say, you know, they said, you know, he tested positive. By the time it came out, we're talking about 11 years out, and we don't think what a blessing will still come back, you know, to athletics. And here we are again, the one with a promising future, you know, and in divine, the way he blast, you know, got himself onto the scene. But right now, uh, what do we say? How do we check this? And that is what, when our guests come on, you will understand why we have to go and drag him out from that uh, Asian city to be part of this. Uh, the Afcon draws for, you know, Cote d'Ivoire is out. Uh, Cote d'Ivoire, this 2023, Cote d'Ivoire 84. Cote d'Ivoire 84, in my, uh, no, not in Mokala, to Patrick Okala, uh, as did the young Stephen Keshi, uh, Chibu Zoyehi a lot, whole lot, it's, you know, yes, uh, the Modekeke High Chief himself, our, the friend of this house, you know, uh, who was the coach of the team yeah, and that was what it was we played to the final you yeah, had to play against the uh the cameroonians but then this time around Pesero and his boys said look you are going to go the full distance but in doing that they have the host as part of the their past part of the, uh, the group the group a uh, uh, so we don't know how it is when you are playing the group but then let's see because two things have to qualify uh this in nigeria Cote d'Ivoire. And there are three, I think there are three guineas in Africa. There is the Guinea, there is the Equ Guinea in the Equator, Equatorial Guinea, and there is another Guinea, Guinea-Bissau. Uh, so basically, they packed the two guineas. They would have given us all the three, but then they gave us the money to give us two. So we have, you know, Guinea-Bissau and Equatorial Guinea with Cote d'Ivoire as, you know, they're, they're, those who are going to join us in that particular uh, uh, group to qualify for two teams. They can also have three, I think because it's a 24 uh, team, uh, format, so we don't know how it, it, they are going to make it so that, you know, uh, get into the last 16. You need to get to the last 16, not to the last 12. So basically, maybe one, one, some groups might also produce like three, three, uh, uh, three, three teams, you know, as best losers to make it up, you know, for that. So that, we, we, we look at the draws, look at the groups, and then you tell us our chances of coming out from that particular group. Um, international friendly, we also look at international friendly involving Nigeria, uh, 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 Nigeria did play Saudi Arabia. We are still going to play uh, the, the Moroccans. So that is another thing entirely. We're going to discuss that, uh, that game, the setup. Uh, and then uh, uh, the, Mor uh, the uh, Ivorians played against the Moroccans. And, uh, you know, Guinea-Bissau and Guinea and the uh, Equatorial Guinea also played. So look at, we are monitoring, this is the beginning. We want to monitor what they are doing, monitor their opponents, and then this is where the, F, uh, uh, the F, NFF, or the NFE, as, 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 as they are known, should send their team, get the, if you can't get, go there to monitor them, can't get those cards, can also get the tips, so that we now, you know, know what they are doing. In Europe, also, the uh, qualifiers for Euro 2024 is also going on. And then the Rugby World Cup, uh, 
I don't know, we don't take a lot of rugby on this show, but I, I, I've been enticed during this World Cup, and I now know why people are saying that football came out of rugby. Was it refined? Or they say, look, but they say, those who are men say, look, men, there are, those rules are not for us. We want to play rugby. We want to go over there. We want to hit, hit somebody, and then know what it's going to be. As long as I do that without malice, uh, if it is of malicious tackles, it is okay. So look at the results here now. Uh, the semifinals are what they are. Uh, what you know, they are in now. Two quarterfinals matches were decided yesterday. Another two will be decided today. Uh, the number one ranked team in the world, Ireland. What happened? They were there cruising, and then uh, the All Blacks. So it was that was an exciting game. Uh, it's an exciting game. And the Argentines said, We are not just playing football, we are also a rugby playing nation, and they are also in the semi finals. So today, uh, uh, France, England, uh, uh, South Africa, Fiji, we will be finding out. Who will make it? England will take on Fiji, while uh, uh, South Africa will clash with host France. That will, that will be someday because those two teams are in the top five, you know, in the rankings. So let's see how it will be uh, uh, to look, where we look at that. Um, the Shanghai Masters, Jimmy just told me just now, I, I, we're talking about the final. We know that, uh, uh, China is ahead of us. So some great hours ahead that uh, 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 Hubert Hokas have just conquered uh, Rublev, and he is the Shanghai Master. And never mind United fans, I don't know. Uh, uh, on and off the pitch, uh, that you are talking about, oh, Nana, or you are talking about Jordan Sancho. A lot of things are happening, but then even in buying the club, that is just the issue. Uh, at the Glazers, say we are selling today, we are selling tomorrow, we are not selling. They ship in the goalposts, but then Sheikh has him say, Look, I don't tire for now. <laughs> you guys can't keep your club three billion, five billion. The guy is ready to pay and right now, but there's there, there is like you know, I don't know, maybe the marriage that may marriage of uh. Confident. They bought that club for 790 million pounds, you know. Um, but right now, the club is in debt of almost 1 billion. I don't understand. From 2005 till now, uh, the United Trust, I don't know what they are saying, they are not in good terms with the, with the Glazers. But these owners have they've spent so much money. I think my Manchester have spent almost any team in the world during this period. But then look at one uh, uh, solitary uh, UEFA Champions League in 2008, uh, some league titles and other titles. But then say, this is if you spend enough money, if you have the intent, you go there. So we're talking about all this. Before we bring in our guest, uh, Jimmy is in the house. Jimmy, uh, uh, yeah, a pleasure to be here. Yes. Um, let, I wanted to well, let us look at before before we talk about the divine issue. Yeah. Uh, um, um, I'm hearing that Osime cropped up injury, and then it's it's not our cross. We're still working for yeah. the sort of the scan. Yeah. But how how is that you know to the to the team? Well, in the first place, I don't think we actually did need Osime for a, of games like this. Um, I I personally believe that we needed to have used home base players more. Um, there will be the argument that maybe when the list had been drawn up, maybe we didn't have a functional league at that point in time and all that. But I would think that, you know, we already know the Osimes, we already know certain players that are key to, you know, the Super Eagles. So I would, um, I would just say at this point in time, a bit more rest for Osime in that team is needed. Let's get more players in to be blooded into the team. And um, we can only hope that it's not serious for Sime, also for the club. I mean, Napoli, they will be very, very wary at this point in time. Yes. It's, crucial, it's crucial to their it's progress. Just, They've yes. not really been doing they're well. They're in Europe, they're, they're, in, they're, 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 they're having been, different assertions yes. across. So they're in the last game, I think, against Bolog now. But, so. so the question really for me will be uh, moving forward for games like this, which uh, caliber of players do we want? We saw that our star story players could not must I win against Saudi Arabia? And it wasn't because of a lack of, you know, uh, quality on the field, but more like, look, we need some more players to be injected to this team to really give it a face going into the Nations Cup. Victor Boniface? Victor Boniface, fantastic player. We saw that, you know, his inclusion has really added some guile, some, you know, uh, technicality. the last few games. Teremofi has not been bad, maybe not as fantastic You're as he is. Semi-Ajayi and Semi Ajayi and, uh, Semi Ajayi, Olai, Olai, no? Semi Ajayi and, um, Semi Ajayi and Calvin uh, Bassi. Yeah, Calvin Bassi. Uh, they looked a little bit suspect together, but I think that Calvin did a little better than Semi Ajayi. Is Semi Ajayi. Calvin better in, in, uh, in the center or at, you know, at, at, at the fullback? That's what you know, being a utility player does to you, <laughs> that you are watching. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, begin to, you begin to doubt whether he's actually going to function better as a central back 
or maybe as a right back. But we saw clearly Tyrone Ebu is not back to his uh, usual best. Yeah. I would think that Osai Samo is by far our best option right there. And we saw what Bruno can do. Bruno, uh, I mean, he was fantastic with some of his incursions along the flanks and all that. I think, you know, we, we are very tiny when it comes to, we are thin and tiny when it comes indeed, to our indeed, midfield. Indeed, 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 in our midfield, especially. I mean, you could just see that indeed he probably had his best game in a long while for the Super Eagles. And also, Kelechi <laughs> Yanacho was yeah. fantastic. But the question really is in the midfield, what exactly do we have? Uh, when we are playing against teams that are creative, that are technical, they have the technical now to attack and attack, what exactly do we do? What do we offer moving forward? You know, we have a fantastic attack. I mean, players across the field that can do wonders. Whether you talk about playing along the flanks or playing through the middle, yeah, they are fantastic. But what exactly happens to the supply? What exactly happens to breaking up play and all that? So yeah. we say indeed he wasn't bad. I mean, he showed he you know, is a leader. Some people were saying, oh, I, maybe Osime should have been the captain for me. Indeed. Osime, captain, I heard him. <laughs> <of you. laughs> mm, you, you know, know, I, know, I know, you know it's not first confessor. It, it cannot be first confessor. <laughs> but, then, but then the calmness of Indidi as a leader, it's, it's a natural thing. You know, it's, it's, it's a nature, natural thing. Exactly. Uh, mm. uh, you are talking about, you know, okay, uh, you, you just talked about uh, utility, utility players. Exactly. Uh, uh, naturally, because, uh, you know, apart from the Super Eagles, I, you know, I follow Manchester United a lot. Uh, uh, there is this player, John, John O'Shea. Yeah. John O'Shea, I mean, one of his greatest undoing is because he's a utility player. He can't. <laughs> so, you, don't, you don't actually know where he's You don't know where he's fitting. You don't know where he's fitting. You don't know where he's fitting. You don't know where he's Maybe he's not that fantastic player, but at a point in time, he could fit in, you know, at the left left side of the Yeah, you know, when, defense. when there was a time, Leicester was having a problem in their central defense. Yeah. And then, you know, they drafted uh, uh, Ndidi, Ndidi into yes. the central defense. So I was, I think I, I, I was in, in talk with somebody. I said, look, this guy is playing this role fantastic. So Ndidi started at central defense. At MFN. Uh, that he was playing central defense at MFN. Do you know that we, we, have, we have quite a number of utility players in that team, especially between the defense and the midfield? Yeah, but look at Semi Ajay. Yes. Look at Calvin Bassi. Kenneth Omiru. Indidi. But, so we actually do have not the, but Kenneth is soon, seems to be the oldest in that team by yeah, now. Yeah, he is. He was in because the, he started he was from in the 2013, 2013 uh, team, team that won the that, AFCON. That have come. So we you now understand? hear, let's do it again. It's possible. It's possible. But you have to do the right things to do it again. But I'm not talking about what I'm talking about, uh, uh, Ndidi. Is Ndidi, that, okay. When the team now relegated. Yes. The, the, the manager pushed him up front. Uh, and the guy started because they not just creating, but knocking in goals. He's knocking and in goals. He's player playing better. Of this player of the month in the championship. And I, man, man, no, no, and no, I no, think no, he's no, able to express that contention. He's, is, he's able is to great. express himself For you to better. be considered exactly. as a player yeah. of the month, yeah. you know, in any whatever it is, especially like within the championship and the premiership, they miss you good. Okay, uh, uh, let's see if we can go to uh, Akure to meet a uh, uh, doctor. Uh, but in the Akimbinu, we don't, uh, we, we, can't get, we, don't, we don't get angry. No matter what you try <laughs> us to do, we don't get angry. Uh, 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 before, I, before I go to him, uh, uh, this, this uh, six-year ban for athletes. Uh, 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 Dr. Akimbinu is listening to me and to, listening to us. Uh, six-year ban for athletes. Athletes too. That is, I mean, when this thing came out from the Athletics Integrity Unit, and this is what, that is what they released. Uh, okay, they first gave us that the, the teaser, you know, came out from their... Um, handle from their handle yeah. before they came out with the press with the press release. Mm. So I'm going to that, that that's the season, but I'm going straight to the press release here. I think we'll take that, we'll take that. Okay, sir. He said, uh, uh, that is in Monaco, 12th October, today's 14th, that's two days ago. Yeah. Uh, Devano Duduru has been banned for six yes. years yeah. by a three member disciplinary tribunal for committing two anti doping uh, rule violations, uh, AD, ADROVs. Of possession of prohibited substances, possession and the attempted use of a prohibited substance or method, and order to pay World Athletics three thousand U.S. dollars towards its expenses regarding the case. The ban takes retroactive effect from uh, 9th February 2023, the date on which the Nigerian uh, uh, sprinter provisional uh, provision began, and runs till 8 February 2029. 
while all his results from July 12th, 2021, until date of his prison suspension, have been disqualified. So all the times he ran, everything he expected and did not expect have <laughs> all been wiped out by, uh, uh, by, 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 by the AIU. Mm. You know, understand? So they talked about the case and they said they are very pleased with the outcome of this matter because, uh, uh, because of its particularly grievous nature. Uh, but let me, before I take you somewhere, they said, I think because I said, I said the initial complaint issued by U.S. Department of Justice uh, uh, against Lira in 2022 made reference to two athletes, athlete one and athlete B. You know, we mentioned Blessed or Kabari. Yeah. He said, by comparing information from Blessed or Kabari's doping cases, which resulted in a cumulative 11-year ban for her last year, the Athletics Integrity Unit, AIU, concluded that at Litwan was Okagbari. And following an interview with her Nigerian teammate Odudu, uh, Oduduru in May 2022, the AIU concluded that Oduduru was at least two. That is why we said at, at least two years. So he has been banned uh, uh, from now until 8 February 2029. Um, blessing is, I mean, I don't know Blessing not coming back. I don't think how he can do after 11 years. But then let's go to Akure because... Uh, uh, Dr. Akin Bino is waiting for us. Uh, uh, Doki, like I always call him, Doki, uh, this is not sounding too good. This is not sounding uh, uh, why, why, why. I know um, things are like that. But then let me ask you this. Um, why do athletes take performance and hazard drugs? Can Ken Ochonogo take it and I can outrun any 100 meters as I am now? Can I go? I mean, maybe I'll be, I'm, I'm asking this. I want to know why they do it. If I can run, why should I go and take it? Why? Well, um, the, the, the athletes that get involved in you know, it's essentially what the name is performance enhancing. They want to get an advantage over their peers. All right. So if you take things that would make um, whatever you do easier for you, um, your peers who don't do it will have will not have the advantage that you have primarily. All right. So, um, ho ho however, the spirit of sport is about fair play. So there are a number of things that um, are considered when you think about what um, athletes can take in competitive professional sports. First, to look at it is it is it does it provide an unfair advantage to the athlete? Okay. Uh, when compared with other competitors, that's one. Two, uh, is it harmful to the athlete, you know, uh, himself or herself? You know, those are some things that are considered, you know. It's not about, um, it's, be, 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 um, so those are two of um, three or four factors that are considered. So if you as Ken Chanago takes it, for instance, if you are playing with 50-year-olds, um, you might um, you might do better. But if you are, if you are running against them, um, 14 year old, so for instance, um, you probably won't have that advantage. However, the issue is for many of our athletes, and I look at it, Nigeria has got about 30 A list athletes over the years, you know, I um, mean, in, in and out of track and field that have been caught. You can name them all, you know, from the from Nigeria's single Olympic gold medalist to the Queen of Tracks to whatever to the Days in War Brothers, you know, and go on and on. It's difficult to sustain it when you are the top. You know, and then sometimes people people find it very difficult to understand that you may not be able to go beyond this limit, and then they look for options that will give them an advantage over someone else. You know, so um, it's because they, very many the athletes may not see the full picture. They may not be able to conceptualize what their careers will be. You know, at the end of being in the click lights. You know, and these are some of the factors that that have played out. Or oh, Kagbari was in her late twenties, as it were, and apparently. Uh, divine force, um, as it is. I mean, I can't speak as to specifics of the athletes for reasons that you understand, you know, yeah. but um, it is what it is and it's particularly unfortunate. But we don't need to cry about this in Nigeria. What we need to say is, what can we do to ensure that the next generation or the next phase or the next athletes in the conveyor belt are not caught in this? As it is, Nigeria is an AIU category A country. What that means is that we are the greatest risk of doping in athletics and that's particularly shameful. It's been there when we were category B until 2019. In 2020, we became category A. At the, at the Tokyo Olympics, 10 of athletes could not pass fail. Uh, the Nigerian Federation decided to do something, fire brigade to say, oh, they have some anti-doping situation. You know, but here we are, we're still category A as it is. So, um, and what that means is that if, if, if you have a Nigerian passport and you have to participate in any international athletics, you, you are seen as a huge risk of doping, you know, of being, of, you know, and then you've got to do a 
whole lot more investigations than um, you may have been if you were not a Nigerian. And these are particularly unfortunate. You may want to ask about Nigerians, you know, who have more passports than one, you know, who have to fly across several airports in the world. Um, many Nigerians will be more, more excited to use their any other passport aside the green Nigerian passport because of what you are um, subjected to, you know. And see, these are some of the unfortunate things that uh, we, we, it's not time to cry. It's to say, okay, what are we put in place to ensure that athletes do not get involved in um, performance enhancing substances from when they start professional athletics through their careers and then do they have a conveyor? Do they have something that shows that after your career, you can transit into something else. You know, where you don't have to unduly keep yourself there by taking all money. Look at Lira in this situation. It was naturopathic. What they call that to the ears of the average person is a go supplement and all that. But the regular food that is in a regular diet, whichever place you are, you know, and adequate conditioning, training and practice is usually adequate because um, sports must be natural. You want to see the finest and the best athletes in India most natural competitive conditions without any undue chemical advantage. Uh, uh, I, I'm still trying because you, you, you touched on a lot of on a lot of issues. I mean, uh, uh, generation next. How do we? How do we educate them? How do we make them understand that you know uh, uh, Nigeria, Kenya, you know, being in that you know category A, that you know it, this thing does not pay you. Uh, but like you said, what? The, what does this really do to the athlete? Is it does it boost their confidence, or or does it in any way make it that you can now run, you know, far, you can run faster or you can fight better? No, how does it happen? I don't understand. I, I really want to understand how does it work in the in the in, 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 in the quickly, system. Quickly run into it. Okay, quickly. So yeah. one, there are several things it does. Okay, now let me give one, and I have to talk in layman terms, so I'm not okay. talking a lot exactly. of so scientific We are all laymen here. <laughs> the difference between a man and a woman very many times is about, I mean, aside the external organs, of course, is usually how much hormones do they have, androgens, as compared to, so men have more testosterone than women, all right? But then the female hormones, do men also have it? So you have some men that uh, speak with probably a female voice or something, maybe they have a lot of female hormones, and you see a lot of women with um, hair on their, you know, places that regular women will not have. You know, there are issues about transgender, Casta Semaya, for instance, and all that. It's about the hormones. Now, the more hormones you have, the more your body can fire through stress. That's one of it. Okay, your androgen, androgenic hormones, I mean, now, can work through stress, especially short term bursts of energy and all that, you know. And sometimes it has some mental implications too, okay? See, China, that's one. There are other parts like, um, blood boosting capacity and erythropoietin, how much of blood can hold in oxygen in times of a um, short burst of energy, like when you need an aerobic respiration and all that, you know, how soon, how long you before you get tired. However, the body has its natural means by which it makes all of this available. That's why we're talking about things being natural, you know. Um, when you now go to um, exogenous application of these things, all right, it can suppress over time the body's natural capacity to produce this. It's the same thing with things like um, uh, illegal substances like marijuana and um, ecstasy and all of that. Your body has a natural endocannabinoid with which it can function. Now, because you feel that you want a surge, something higher than what you've got, you get some external help from somewhere. It can prevent the body from behaving right without it. So people have withdrawal symptoms. However, it can also have harmful effects on organs of the, of the person. So from your kidneys, to your lungs, to your liver, and all that, because it's like a baby that is supposed to be working at between six months and 14 months or 15 months or thereabout, you know, about nine months and 15 months. When you carry throughout the period and you prevent the baby from working on his own, ultimately the baby work may have delayed developmental milestones. So it doesn't work at the right time because you've been carrying all the while, all right? And um, these things, same things can happen with. So when you prevent the body from producing what you produce because you have providing sources from outside, those things that you produce in the body, you know, those organs that you produce in the body just fail to work because they are used to the enjoyment, as it were, that they get from outside. So it begins to have failure of organs, for instance, especially with long-term use. But of course, like I mentioned, all drugs, all drugs, if I almost all substances that are consumed anyway, are uh, hazardous, you know? Um, my father's pharmacist, and so I did see, you know, when I was younger, I see, 
is is, is quotation was his certificate read something licensed to produce drugs and poisons. And as a child, I'm like, poisons, what? But of course, we're trying, we don't understand that. Um, it's about dose and frequency. So for how long are you taking whatever it is you are taking? Do you understand? And that can have really harmful effects on the body, you know, of um, whoever it is, whether a professional athlete or not, you know. So from conditions of the heart, conditions of the liver, let me, the kidneys, let me, let me, let me, let me come in there, uh, uh, because that is exactly why we actually looked for you. Um, do these drugs have injurious effects? Do they have, you know, kind of negative effects? Do they have dangerous effects on the body? Do, you know, do we, do we, oh, absolutely. I mean... Absolutely. That's what I was talking about, you know. Um, all drugs are poisons. It's about how much and how long do you take it. Wait, wait, wait. All wait, drugs. Uh, wait, wait, calm down, calm down. See, sometimes you scare us most of this thing you see. When you say all drugs are poison, <laughs> don't tell us that. We are... Okay, let's say all drugs have potential uh -huh. to be poisoned. Uh -huh. uh, better tell you that. Don't, don't, don't make it... me afraid, you guy. <laughs> no, that, that, that's why I mentioned, that's why I refer to pharmacy, you know, I say, you know, they are licensed to produce drugs and poisons, you know. Yes. It's about how much, what is the dose, and what the frequency of exposure or use. Do you understand? Yeah. Now, in many instances, these athletes only engage these substances only for short periods, okay. for a period of their career or something. But regardless, if you do drugs, you will be caught. Doesn't matter where you do it. Doesn't matter if you how do you drugs, do it. Doesn't matter how or when you will be caught because it's like viruses or computers and antiviruses. For as long as the virus producer that the hackers try to work harder, the antivirus industry also works just as hard. All right. Only if that. you do, you can get away with it in Nigeria. Only you that will not get away with it. In you can't get away with it. We are going on a short break. When we we'll come back, we'll take the concluding part of this interview. Uh, uh, drugs, they are not poison. No. <laughs> Just be careful the dosage you're taking. Stay with us, the channel spot on Sunday. <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, we're back. Uh, we still have Jimmy. Jimmy is right here in the studio, and we still have uh, Dr. Baba Tunde. Ah, uh, uh, Kim Binu. I like a lot of times, you know, he's there right there in Akure. Uh, no matter what you try to do to him, you never get angry. And he stops smoking. He's talking about Omoni. His voice is like a film. Ah, uh, don't worry, I will check the cholesterol <laughs> level that you are. <laughs> <laughs> I check that because he need to stress himself. Look at me. I, I don't need to project. You hear me? But the doctor give me this okay. I, you know, it's right. We're coming back to you, Jimmy. You you had you, you had so far what you have said. Uh, um, before we give the same question to him, why would somebody indulge in this when you know that it is negative? It is going to affect you one way or the other. Uh, momentous gain, momentous gain. Um, athletes naturally will want to get the better of the of the arrivals and naturally so when they have uh, some challenges like when they are aging if enough you play when, ball let me let me let me speak injury. let me speak it if enough yeah. it play ball yeah you can't say you say make a take drug i go begin a dribble like a messi no that won't happen <laughs> but we also know but that why would footballers also take we, drugs? We, we also know that we've had players a lot of players over the years yeah. that we knew were injected you know, to yeah. play through injury. We don't know yeah, that is painkiller. Drug bar, Rooney. It happens quite a number of times. But those are painkillers. Like he rightly did say, it doesn't mean drugs are poisons. But the, dose, the, way, the, dosage the dosage and frequency. The dosage, the frequency yeah. and the application. So, it is very they all are important. So in this case now I would think that okay, uh for example, one of the things that, was, that, that had been said about Blessing was, oh, she was aging. She needed something to actually get her boosted and, you know, go out in a blaze of glory. Ote, Ote, Marie Ote, 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 Jamaican, Ote, Jamaican uh, 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 ran exactly. for almost when she was 40 years. She wasn't taking drugs. So the question really is, um, what exactly are these guys looking for? Um, we, we respected them, we adored them, but at a point you just feel they felt inadequate. Blessing, break, blessing, oh, break my heart. Oh. <laughs> I won't, <laughs> no, I won't tell you lies. Like, I was not. touched. I was really touched. Because you never expected it. I never expected it. <laughs> but uh, uh, do, do, do a future cut short. Let's go back. Let's mm. go back to Akure. Uh, where the, the mayor, I think, can I call him the mayor of Akure? No, nah, this is not the mayor. Okay, the mayor. Like, I can call him anything anyway, when he's on this show. Uh, uh, Dr. Akiminu Ali, I mean, um, what you just talked about, um, I think from what we've been seeing, it is either the parents 
are seldom involved in drugs. In you know, I think that would be the, the peer uh, from at least one, at least two. We found that it was, I mean, that is uh, uh, the kind of working relationship between blessing and divine that will have led to divine getting into this. I mean, looking up to, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't want to allege what I do not know, but from what they are saying here, at least one, at least two, from what they saw in the phones of, uh, in the phone of a cabaret when it was confiscated, and that is what, you know, they arrived at this, and also uh, uh, Lira's uh, 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 phone. Now, also, the, the, the trainers, you know, also the coaches are the, probably the source of this. Are they, so the coaches, is it not technique they are supposed to teach them? Are they supposed to put them into this? And then, because it has also happened to our own young athletes in Nigeria, some very young ones, you know, see? we're talking about the elite athletes, but the very young ones who are involved, ignorance, and the rest of them all. And then, so how do we prevent this? We've already talking about Nigeria. I don't know in our sports two things that I you know. I wonder that what maybe the, uh, 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 the new uh, sport minister and in the brand new sport ministry should be looking at this anti-doping agency yeah. for us to have one, and the court arbitration for sports. Basically, do those two things, and whatever happens, I will give you 100% to me. But then, let's look at the anti-doping thing here in Nigeria. How do we send the message, uh, Dr. Kimino? How do we send the message to the athletes, both the rookies and the, uh, the elites, mm -hmm. that you don't need this, that it is dangerous to your health? Well, I'm excited that you've asked this question, and I'm excited that it's an inclusive question, because the whole thing comes back to the structure and the governance of sports in Nigeria. Look, this, many times, these athletes don't know better. Their coaches don't know better. You tell me, what makes a person a coach? For instance, you know, I'm constrained now for the reasons that, well, of what I do, not to mention it, some specifics and names, you know. So, but what education do they have? You know, so we just want to get over the line. There was a 16-year-old athlete at some Commonwealth game for Nigeria that was called being weightlifter or something, you know. But, what did she know? It's what they gave her because they used this one. Until I stopped working as a sports physician for one of the clubs in NPFL, I also worked in the NWFL too. You know, the reasons that made me stop. Of course, the club decided that well, they wanted to sack everybody back home, but I was also excited to leave because you know, caught with the darkness around sports, um, doping control in and around the place. If you say no, if it, they, they come fight you, I, I mean, for my last game with the club, I had to run away in the ambulance and escape. You know, because they reported to everybody, the club doesn't want There's a problem. So what should government do? Wait, Build wait, 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 please. You see, when you say things sometimes, we don't want to get what you mean. Are you saying here that some clubs systematically dope? Look, I'm not saying some clubs that once you don't have deterrent measures, you don't have education, enlightenment, and advocacy measures. You also don't have measures to punish people who do wrong. It will flourish. Simple and short Nigerian football. Straight away. So you see people who are so good in Nigerian league, and they move on to Europe, and they just don't show it. They are so good in the Nigerian league, and they go to Chan, or they go to cup competitions. You can make your judgments. All right? Now, there's a Nigerian sports industry policy. We need to ensure that that policy works. Is we need foreign direct investment. You cannot get that if your country is a category A country where the first thing they see with your passport when you are a Nigerian is that you are likely to be doping. You also invest in such. So the, the ministry must sit down and say, what is the problem with doping? And states have to work because the ministry is only in Abuja. The states really coordinate the rest of it. So what are the doping structure? What are the sports and exercise medicine? Proceed uh, channels that are really within the 36 states. How are we even educating coaches and, and, and athletes themselves? So, all the sports, so 42 sports. This is what we are talking about here. But how about weightlifting? And we used to win in the All Afghan game, short put. We had a, a winner for three years between 1999 and 2007. We should be ashamed. Our school greatest athlete that ever won an Olympic gold in track and field. So then, when you talk sports, that's not when you mention her name. You mention her name in other things that she's done. Who goes to Nigeria with sports and, and especially anti doping? There's a national anti doping commission in Nigeria. We must say how it has to function like secret service, you know. But what if you're functioning as secret service, you know? And of course, I've got some relations to them, you know. So, education and awareness and deterrent measures are you putting across? Until we do that, we will continue to go round and round in the circle of doping, and Nigeria is going to, you know, they see us as forward line naturally across board. 
and even in sports too. We are seen as cheats. So the minister has got to sit down at this and really work at it. There are a lot of good people, but many good people are not within the structure and the system. You've got to get them from the outside and get them to play roles. I mean, and there are very good people in Nigeria, but sometimes the bureaucracy and the nature of Nigerian system doesn't allow good people to play their role. I said, let's just let it, because who is punished? Only divine right now. So how about every other person in the Nigerian system? Look, we did national youth games recently. At the youth games in the Olympics, the age is between 15 and 18. At Asaba, we had five-year-old athletes. We had seven-year-old athletes. We had a 10-year-old gold medalist from one state in Taekwondo. We deceiving. So it is about, it's, it's a cycle of deception. And we just got to get it all the way around. Do you do things like that? You know, so and we keep voting in money in the budget and we're wasting scarce resources and not making the best out of it. Just as I said, this person just, what are we making back for the country? Because sport is a business. You put in money and you get money out of it. It's to really improve the social economic standards of the athletes. Because we used to go abroad. It's just like you say, every doctor is going abroad. They send in money back to Nigeria, repatriating money. What are we doing with whatever sports we are doing in Nigeria? Or to what end are we even doing sports? Is it for everybody to know Nigeria? We are the single largest, most populous country in, in black country around here. So what are we doing? What are we even showing the world? What are we good at, you know, in sports? But if the first thing on our name is doping and our best athlete, so today is Damala Osayami, tomorrow is Benson Okarabari, next tomorrow is Oduduru. I mean, Enoch Adeboke, for instance, went running the race of his life, broke his, his hamstring at the final of the Olympic Games. Federal government gave him two point something million, and his career has just gone downhill since then. We don't see him. S.A. Shakiri has recovered to come and win the distance. We do, we give this athlete, when they look at that and say, don't do dope. Someone says, what do you get? Once you have this, you're forgotten and all that. What are we doing at the state level? Not federal, not Abuja, not Lagos. Nigeria is bigger than Abuja and Lagos only. Until we do those things, God help us. Thank you, Dr. Akimbinu. Thank you so much. Uh, we we'll keep, we'll keep on discussing, we we'll keep on talking. Thank you for being part of the show. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so much like the angle it came from when you talked about. Chica, yeah. Amalaha, you remember when she actually the weightlifter, the, the weightlifter, yeah, 16, you know, 16, 16 so, years old, 16 years old as at that time. Yeah. So it does tell you that most of our problems are actually fundamental. It starts from what we do or do what we do rightly or wrongly at the uh, basic levels. So the question really is, what exactly is government at all levels doing to educate? to ensure implementation of these anti-doping controls and also enforcement, because that's what I get from what Tunde is saying. Because you look at it critically, you have the NADO website, you have some of the information there, but in terms of webinars, in terms of engagement, it's not, it's not comprehensive enough. We know the likes of Dr. Ken Anugweje, they are doing quite a number of, they are doing well, you know, in their personal capacity, in terms of high performance center, in terms of anti-doping and all that, but bring it all together. The likes of uh, uh, Grace Mwokocha, our brightest athletes are getting, you know, in the, in the they are going down the gulag for he, all he of just those mentioned doping. The name, but it, but of all the things he talked about, yeah. he talked about Enoch, yeah, Enoch and Adiwoki getting, okay. getting injured yeah, and somebody is giving 2.7 yeah. million. million. Let, me say, let me say this. Mm. Today, uh, uh, Nduka Ogbadi, who has now become a coach yeah, and sure. have been part of winning the World Cup on the 17th for Nigeria. Uh, in 1989, during the Daman miracle, miracle that we did, Nduka was part of that theme. Yeah. And then um, in that match, that game, that Nigeria came down from 0-4 zero zero four to 4-4 four 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 four. against the USSR. Yeah. But there, Russia was not in existence. Exactly. It was USSR that included the Georgia, Ukraine, yeah. Yeah. and you know, Lithuania, and all yeah. these countries that, are, that you are hearing now. Uh, Nduka got injured. And when they came back, there was no way, you know, the FA didn't show any concern. Yeah. Nduka moved from orthodox medicine to traditional medicine, mm. to somebody who wants to, all those uh, healers, natural healers, yeah, healers yeah. those who want to set Both leg, setters. take this, take that, mm. drink this agbo, you know, we break this foul leg, and a lot of things were done. That basically almost became the end of, of his career. career from that 1989. Mm. Luckily, before he was able to pick up and came back to part of the 94 For Nations Cup team. And yeah. a lot of us knew what Nduka Gbade went through. Some did not come back. And even himself, when he came back, we all know what, you know, his uh, uh, longevity was already... Uh, uh, so that speaks to shorting. welfare. 
Well, that is, that is, he, <laughs> are people saying, he's saying, he's saying most of the things, they, most of them do this, because they're saying, I have about two, three years to do this, and after them, where do I get fall back on? on? So they need to make as Momentous much money things. within that exactly. period, and they are pushed into mm -hmm. it. So we need a system that was, okay, fine, with this period, we can accommodate you, you and yeah. after this, we can, you can, you can have yeah, things exactly. you want to do. Let them have what they're doing. I, like I said, I always ask somebody, if you are running in Nigeria, if you are playing netball in Nigeria, Will that be enough for to you to sustain you, to, to sustain sustain you your and your family? And your family. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> if you are playing football in Nigeria, Nigeria. Mm. and then for three more, five months, they don't pay your salary, mm. is that enough for you to sustain your family? So a lot of pressure. Discussion. We don't go into that, but we're not saying <laughs> don't go into drugs. Exactly. The I will tell you from what yeah. Dr. Akimra just said, I don't mm. go into drugs because it is dangerous. Mm. I mean, it, it is, is poisonous. Absolute, it is absolutely so. Okay. I uh, mean, remember uh, in 1988, uh, Flojo, yeah. She almost never recovered. Okay. <laughs> we don't want to go into that thing. No, I won't go into that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we are, we are talking about AFCON, 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 AFCON. We're back to January, February, AFCON. Well, I don't know. I don't know why we are still doing this. Uh, we're always moving in circles uh, in um, Africa, putting Abby. much pressure on the players. We fought for this before. See, Allah. People say, look, uh, Europe cannot be doing it. No. He who dictates the, uh, who plays the papa dictates the tune. You, our players ply their trade in Europe. That what we are saying, when I say we are saying a uh, calf or the continent is, you know, um, it's not at par mm. that we are dependent on others. But the pressure is on the player. Exactly. When the player comes back at the peak, where he was supposed to be fighting for his shirt and other things in his club, mm. and somebody else take over that. Before, before he gets, before the, he gets the shirt it's back, always it's always a, it's a difficult. You come there, then you crop up an injury yeah. at that particular point in time. Well, we are saying that Osime is you know, injured. Yeah, injured. We are still waiting for the result of the scan today oh, to know whether it's going to be okay. out for a day or two, or a month or two from what we are, what we are seeing. So these things are out there. Mm. But then let us look at uh, uh, the draws. Um, and then we are, all, we, are all, we are opening the lines now also for you guys to join us. Look at the group, uh, which group can you think Nigeria will come out, the Super Eagles will come out. You saw our match against Saudi Arabia. We are playing Mozambique uh, on Monday, or this tomorrow. We are playing Mozambique without Osime and without Ehia Nacho. Yeah, Most of them have yeah. left camp. Ehia Nacho for uh, 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 personal family reasons, they, mm. they excused him. But uh, Osime is injured. So probably after this guy, he might be going back to his club. But this, that, those are the draws. Yeah. Uh, that, that, is that Mikel? We, we are the likes of Mikel, uh, <laughs> Drogba, you know, also Mane. I don't... DJ Drogba, yeah, DJ Drogba. The iconic DJ Drogba. And, and uh, in Group A, we have uh, Cote d'Ivoire, Nigeria, Equatorial Guinea, Guinea-Bissau. Like you did say, maybe they should just have given us all the, of the, all the gimmies. <laughs> <laughs> in Group B, we have Egypt, Ghana, Cape Verde, Mozambique. Um, I think that Egypt and Ghana, they are favorites in that part. Oh, uh, that's a paper. Okay, uh, but remember what Kevin did. Which but also, don't forget that, yes. you know, we'll be having to uh, qualify automatically. They yes. also have four Our, best yeah. losers. So, yes. I mean, Egypt and Ghana, it's hard to see how Egypt and Ghana will not qualify even as best loser. <laughs> okay. All right, group C, Senegal, Cameroon, Guinea, the Gambia. Uh, we saw what the Gambia did the last time around. Yes, I mean, and Guinea. Is a, is Guinea, is Guinea is a big threat. So a threat to I, anybody. I would say that group is the group of oh. life. Let me not call it a group of death. <laughs> so, group D, Algeria, Burkina Faso, Mauritania, Angola. Uh, Algeria won in 2019. Um, you fancy that chances. Burkina Faso had also been in a couple of finals. Um, group E, Tunisia, Mali, South Africa, Namibia. Group F, Morocco, Dr. Congo, Dr. Congo, sorry. Uh, Zambia, <laughs> Zambia and Tanzania. Zambia. Yeah, so. So uh, uh, you're, you're, look at, you're looking at group, group C, because even the group, when you, if you see Senegambia, they used to be the same Senegal, you know, Exactly. Senegal, the, Gambia, and Guinea, a, Guinea are all, I think they are, they are, sharing, region, they are sharing borders around, they are among themselves. Borders. They're not brought in the Cameroon, Cameroon to come and join them. Abby. Anyway, <laughs> so we are, we are opening the last, like we said now, uh, you guys can join us, look at the groups, look at how it is, and then uh, 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 let us see how, let us see how the teams are going to make it. That is DJ Drogba. Uh, I so much love this guy. I wish he played for... Uh, the, this particular draws was too Chelsea loaded for me. You know, at the point, we even saw Carlo and uh, Mikel and uh, Drogba. Yeah. I think I it was a consolation for all the Chelsea fans. That <laughs> <laughs> no, because, because at that point in time, Chelsea did give room to African they, players. They definitely. And we I have mean, to celebrate them for that. Of course, they even did that. Even now, they are still doing it. They are still doing it. So, yeah. I mean, I mean, no, 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 is there. Mad, 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 So, so a yeah. lot of them, so uh, they, they, they did that for them. And then the, the, the players showed, and they were good ambassadors but, but of Africa. Money, money, current player. 
you know, for <laughs> me, I don't know. I, I don't think it's... Um, I, I don't think it's the, it's the best um, having money <laughs> making the draws. I, I, well, I you, know, you can bring in some current players uh, come in. It doesn't have to be the ex players only. You have to celebrate some. I mean, even FIFA does it. I mean, uh, uh, Messi and Ronaldo, they'll be carrying them wherever they want to go to. So why can't you bring our money? God, you mentioned Ronaldo. <laughs> no, he's doing, well as, doing, he's doing the, well as usual. No, he's the best scorer in history. He's, he's, the, he's, the, he's the best goal scorer in history. 125 goals. Yeah, he's the best goal scorer. He's, he kept on scoring. Okay, that. you don't want to say best player. Yeah. I say he's the best <laughs> goal scorer. Yeah, yeah watching your words No, no, but, but it's a fact. He's the best goal scorer in history. You don't want to say best player. No, he's the best goal scorer in history. <laughs> see, this is well. Okay, uh, uh, let's do Garba. Garba has a toss. Hello, Garba. How are you? I'm fine. You be, you have to make it. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please let me make my contribution this way, expertly. I want to talk on two issues. I think Nigerian government they need to is our athletes in general. I will give you an example kill, now. Please you kill, kill, kill your, kill your, your stay away from your telly or kill your volume and speak with your phone. I I kill, I kill the volume completely. Oh God bless you. All right, go on. Okay, thank you. You see, I want to go this way expressly, teaching. I want to go on the government of the Federation to try to sensitize our athletes of issue of duty. If you look at Nigerian Premier League now, most of all these footballers, I'm sorry to tell you, they are not accusing them. Of. Majority of them, majority of them, they are taking all those top counties. If they say they will test Nigerian Premier League footballers, so they should learn because they have future ahead. Then secondly, Issue of Nigerian team. I watched their friendly match. Honestly, that was people who don't have God. This is the three times they're making us. Let us mistake. If you remember in Abuja, I was confined against Ghana. Honestly, I put blame on him. Because I was called, because God. That free kick. Come on. It didn't need to be stabbed, but if I can easily point that ball up. But he put it inside the neck. To be honest, that guy is not a keeper of Zoho. They should look for someone, honestly. If you want to succeed, any match that went ahead, I'm telling you, if that man is a goal for definitely, my heart will be carried victory. I will think that we are losing because any shot that will come, I will see inside the net. That we don't have goalie. Let's be honest to ourselves. They should look at any goal keeper, even Sean Sainter or Benjamin is not a goal keeper, put there. That, that guy, honestly. The guy is horrific. I'm going to over there. Okay, uh, th thank you, Gariba. I think somebody mentioned that. Is the goalke goalkeeping area is it is it our is it is it our weakest our we are our, our weakest uh, point? In the team? So it was an exemplification yeah. of mediocrity, utter mediocrity. Because I mean, at that point in time, at your level, yeah, a keeper that you know gone to the World Cup, played, have I mean, he's got several caps for the Super Eagles. You can't be making such mistakes. You know, those are schoolboy errors, and you won't even expect that from an under seventeen goalkeeper. You know strutting is tough uh, for the national team. So I, I think, well, we want to look at it and say we have a goalkeeping problem. A lot of people will say from the days of Ikeme, I would disagree because I think Ezenwa was still fair enough for us. But he's not, it's not uh, uh, but, we look uh, at Adile, but he seems to have that eyes problem. No, where is uh, this other uh, player that they bullied, they bullied, the goalkeeper that they bullied, they bullied and he, you know, he just left? Um, the one but that was, After was Okoye is back in Okoye. the team. Okoye, Maduka, 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 Maduka but, Okoye. I, but for me, I think Okoye yeah. is a lot more better than Uzo. But maybe there's this. Um, but does, does it need to, you know, not listen to the social, not read the social media and all because I mean he, he made. Whether it, you listen, read, or say anything on social media, it has absolutely nothing to do with your performance on the day. But he was bullied. He was bullied. Okay, okay, you are talking about Okoye, Maduka Okoye. Maduka Okoye, that's what I'm saying. He may have been bullied, but that's why you're a professional player. You are not just... Our know, mentality, our mentality is different, is, Jimmy. Maybe, maybe he's mentally weak or was mentally weak. Now he's come back into the team. We've got to give him Had that. Had he been psychologically time. prepared now to face it? Because when know? they start... Only... When, 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 Ken, it, I understand just how one know. howler and then... Ken, there we Ken, go. Ken, when you put yourself out there on social media, you have to be absolutely prepared for what comes. I think you have to delete because the account at the point or something. In time, at a point in time, it was enjoying all the paparazzi, uh, exactly. all the vibes. And then a lot of ladies were, oh, this is our guy. Is it the ladies? <laughs> is it the ladies? Is it the lady before yeah, the ladies? Know. That was why those guys, they were, it was out of, out of jealousy. Yeah, yes, they now. They said, okay, because the lady... the hot guy in there. So they, <laughs> oh, my God. Because they, they just went after they went him. After him. He was so bad. Yeah, because of, I mean, 
But I, I think it's got to get his act together. Uh, at the end of the day, that's why you are putting the sticks for okay. the Super Eagles as a number one. How do you have your Eta? Hello. Is that Mukhtar? Mukhtar, can, can, you, can, you, can, you, can you call your name for us? Hello. Don't tell me, don't tell me we've lost this call. Ken, you, you also <laughs> Please know. do call back. I was trying to ask you to pronounce your name for us, and then you just left. You don't want to, just call up now. My name is Ken. What's your name? Just let us know. Ken, you yeah. talked about mentality. Yeah. Uzoho, there is a particular incident you know well of. Yes. Uzoho is a mentality beast. But is it a mentality beast on the field? That, no, what, what I mean, I agree with you. <laughs> no, what, I, what I mean is, if he has not been bullied, yeah, you understand. Yeah. If somebody somebody has prepared him for look, ignore. Yeah. Some people say I don't read whatever is written. Mm. So we read and, uh, and reply. Everybody have their own, you know. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you know yeah, so psychologically, how prepared are you to face this? Because I, I was see him as a very good goalkeeper from his rise and when Omar Omar brought draw his attention to us yeah. when moving from in, in Germany and all those and moving there and the rest of the world, he now moved into I think to Belgium and then you no know, his career path was moving okay, on. If you talk the, about I, mentality, the mindset of some play, uh, goalkeepers hmm, will be fired. Every player... Like so Onana. If Onana resorts... <laughs> <laughs> <You guys. laughs> if Onana resorts, this is telling him on social media. He probably will not set his foot on the field again. So I, 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 I agree with you when you say, yeah, um, he's got to be better prepared. That's why you have psychologists in the team. He's got to have you know, a personal psychologist. Where's my friend, like, Robinson, and, Robinson, like, uh, Robinson Okosu. Okosu. Robinson, please, I'm gonna, Robinson, I'm gonna, Robinson, Robinson. Robinson, 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 you guys talk to me, I'll be preparing him well. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, he's good, he's good, yeah, he's, he's good, he's he good uh, in, in, in behind, uh, in mm. between the sticks there. Mm. So we are still, we need him to be, you know, mentally prepared. And then you guys bully Sky, guy, please. Please. Especially see, especially you, and as a coach, you guys are supposed to support Chinos, all right, Chinos is with us. Hello, Chinos, how are you? Chino, so how? Hello? What's happening to your line? I'm hearing pop, pop, pop. <laughs> okay. Uh, we said we'll be monitoring the, uh, you know, our group. Uh, Jimmy does too that we are, we are with Cote d'Ivoire and two out of the three African guineas. Mm. So uh, these are the results that they played. Uh, Nigeria played 2-2 with Saudi Arabia. That's the game we're talking about there. You know, uh, where they said that the goalkeeper didn't, so put it in didn't, didn't, didn't do too well. In the past 15 games, we have not won any friendly. All right. There's a 15 friendly games. So that's Saudi Arabia. Two draw, two, two draw with Nigeria. Yeah. South Africa played out a 0 0 draw with Eswatini. No, Guinea, Guinea Bissau. Guinea defeated Guinea Bissau. I mean, 1 0. Uh, 1 0. That's the third Guinea. The third Guinea. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, uh, Burkina Faso and uh, 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 they play 0 0. Okay. Uh, we, we, we are going. Okay. That's Cote d'Ivoire, Morocco 1 1. That's the third uh, team on our group. So I will just take in those uh, uh, results and, and the rest and all. We are going on another short break. When we come back, it is just for you guys. Uh, uh, be, pre be prepared to be part of the show. Just call, 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 and call till we say it is the end of the show today. Stay with us. Channel Spot on Sunday. Go away. Welcome back. Uh, uh, this is the final, uh, you know, home run for the team. And like we say, it is for you fans. The, you know, the lines are open. You watch the team. We looked, we looked at the Super Eagles team that plays Saudi Arabia. We are playing Mozambique. But we are playing Mozambique without uh, uh, Osime and Ihea Nacho. Uh, Ihea Nacho did score in our game against, uh, you know, that game. Okay, we have Johnson on the line. Hello, Johnson. How are you? I'm fine. I'm cool. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Go on. <laughs> okay. The, yeah. the, the problem we are having is not just uh, with the goalkeeper. It's not just with the goalkeeper. Okay. We play friendly with Saudi Arabia. You can just imagine if we are playing top one. We are drawing 2-2. Two, two. If, uh, uh, and you see, it, we, and we see our front, the, 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 can we play Saudi, country like Saudi? 
and we are two just two goals. And in fact, we have permutation. People will say it's going to be five goals, it's going to be six, it's going to be seven. Over the end. And unfortunately, the two they they replied us also. So I think it is not just goalkeeping. We should look at everything, everything. If not, going to Nations Cup with this uh, neighboring with our neighbor, uh, fellow Africa club, we know what football is in Africa. Nigeria will not. Be Justin, you watch you watch the game and you say it is not just about the goalkeeper. But kill, kill the volume, kill the volume of your of your set. Let's talk through your phone. Let's talk so that the, the echoes they will reduce the echoes. So uh, you, you watch the game yourself or stay away from the telly. You watch the game yourself and you now you are saying, okay, it is not uh, about just the goalkeeper. Uh, the, 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 the how loud we were. I think that the first one, but the second goalkeeper was saying, look, if you can't too much blame him. What, which area do you think we should fortify in the team? I, 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 I love the midfield so of, of Iwobi and Ndidi. That's why Ndidi is being spectacular. Iwobi has been both, both of them for both club and country now. Uh, uh, what, what areas do you think we should uh, have those improvements on in the team? Hello, Johnson. Hello, Johnson. Oh no. I think I agree with him when he says that we should strengthen in all cases. Yes. Um, number one goalkeeper, we know already we don't have a goalkeeper. Okay. Um, I think our left back and right back. But you said Madoka Okoye is back. At the end of the day, he needs to convince us. So uh, wait, no, wait, back is, convince you until they give him an opportunity to cope, to keep. Definitely. Uh, what, so what you saying, can't convince you why, why he's sitting on the bench. What, what I'm saying is we yeah. have a goalkeeping problem, regardless of who is there. Even Adelaide, even Adelaide has to come and convince us that it's good enough. We've seen that the left backs and the right backs, they have been able to convince us that there's competition in those places. And we also have those that are, you know, stamping the authority on their positions. As central back, we need to find, um, you know, proper pairing. Would it be Omero for us again, um, and Basi, Basi and Semi Ajayi? Whichever one, we know uh, usual Oimbo world is not there any longer. Aikong has got to come into the team, especially being more the captain than uh, Med Musa right now. So we'll still look at all the uh, permutations. In the midfield, you talked about Indidi because he has, you know, he had a very fantastic game. But He's been having a fantastic season the, to me. The, uh, the creativity in that team yeah. is absolutely lacking. He so, had a, he had a choice is, supposed to do some creativity. So the question is, how exactly do you want to play Ian Are you playing him, you know, behind the striker? Of course. Have, I did that is, have, let, let's, let's take, let's take okay. show. But to me, I believe that this is natural. Uh, it's the position, yeah. position, the yeah. kind of uh, uh, yeah. position that uh, uh, I, will, I, will, I will use one Kokano. Hello, yeah. hello, hello, Shehu. Shehu, how are you? Yes, I'm fine. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Hello, go on, go on, Shehu. Yes, okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, uh, I know. and our new coach so far is doing a very good job. Uh, uh, the guy that played a left back, I think so far he has cemented his position. And uh, our main problem, like the previous callers mentioned, how long will it take us to start with a very good goalkeeper, even in our local league? In fact, even in Bida here. If the Super Eagles is looking for a goalkeeper, I can give them three good options of goalkeeping, be that here. So I don't know. Calling us all the time. He prevented us from going to work up. We see the foul that he did, even at the Nations Cup. So why are we still using him? Well, we have 1,001 goalkeepers around. And again, in the front line, we should not all be using all our jokers at the same time. Yes, our front line is now in the Super Bowl. So it depends on the, we should look at the opponent and see who and who we that's supposed to be playing. Not just this guy this guy scored fifteen goals in the league in their league. This one scored fifteen goals, but no, the strength of the opponent and the balance between the midfield the and balance, the attack. Yeah. That, that's what that's what we should be looking right. for. And I think not just the Nations Cup or we'll take the uh, 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 all right. Thank, thank, thank you, Shehu, for your contribution. Uh, Shehu is saying uh, there, there needs to be that tele 
telepathy, the telepathy the, the, that the understanding, the, 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 the synergy yeah. you know, between players, and then you do that. And, and I think we saw a little bit of that with Bonnie. Is it Bonnie face or Bonnie fast? <laughs> no, <laughs> but it's Bonnie, Bonnie yeah, face. Yeah, Bonnie fast. Uh, where, 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 is it a uh, village, village ambassador? The old village ambassador. Bonnie face. Okay. Bonnie, Bonnie. So, so you we have to do... They are both of them are victors anyway. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. You mentioned the fact that um, Kelechi Enacho can play behind... Behind, yeah. Man, that is, is that is his best role. So the question is... We've seen Lukman Adiola, uh, Adimala. Yeah. He's not really been convincing on the left side of the attack. So why not drop him? Why not drop him and probably play Boniface from that particular position and also drop Chukwizi? Because we've seen that most times he's not as productive as he should be. He may be playing very well for the club. Do you mean, but do you mean just drop? You don't need 11, you don't need 11 now, players. Now, you now, 11 players. Is, Ken, yeah, yeah, so they're part players. of the team. Okay, yes. Moses Simon. Yes. Moses Simon at a point in time was doing fantastically well for the Super Eagles. But... Somehow you find that some players actually do better. They are able to read the matches better when they get into the play. The same that they were just super sub. One, one Kokano exactly. is bring him from the bring bench. Or like on the soldiers, you know, so they, bring they, they, are, they exactly. are players that change. They, you bring them, they, exactly. they, they, they would coach just leave them in the bench. I went and, oh yeah, uh, come in. I remember when uh, uh, Westhoff was changing, when he wants to change, he would change with uh, uh, Finidi and bring, he would bring one person and uh, whatever, he was using a winger and, and stuff I, like and that. I think what should yeah. worry us the most is the person that wears a number 10 jersey. Joe Aribo, for a long time, had not. I think, been, I, I think he, has, he, has, he, has a deep, he has a deep in form. So, mm. so basically, that's what we are saying here. Too is very that's what, because now you are talking about an Iwobi, yes. you are talking about Ndidi, you are talking about Ihana Cho, you are saying so you understand. So, I mean, in that place, okay. Let's take let us take us Sam Chino. Hello, Sammy, how are you? Sammy, how are you? Is that right? Your name sounds like Jordan Sancho. It's Chindo. Sam Chindo, are you there? <laughs> Waiting. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know what's happening to the lines. Uh, let's see, we'll talk to them. And so let's just take some um, uh, rugby. The rugby World Cup is ongoing now. And then uh, uh, we are into the summer. Yesterday, some quarterfinals matches were played. Exciting. Don't ever don't watch rugby. Just go and watch it. The truth is that football came out of rugby. So there is football is, rugby is the father I, and of I think football. I'm, happy, I'm yeah. happy that France, you know, you know, they have been able to... But let's take, let's take, let's take the one. results. Uh, yeah. Yeah, New Zealand. New Zealand 28, 24. Very controversial. Very controversial game. Even the more controversial Ireland. is Argentina, Argentina Wales. and Wales. You understand? Nice Ireland is the number one nation in the world. In the world, yeah. You know, and then here is a New Zealander. But New Zealand has won this in three times, so they're going for the fourth one. But today, they're going to have we'll England take Fiji. Against Fiji, not Fuji. Fiji. Islands. <laughs> <laughs> South Africa won in 2019. Yes, yes, the Mandela, the Mandela, yes, and, Mandela. And uh, in 2027, it will be held in Australia. So we we'll see. I actually do fancy New Zealand to take these all blacks. I feel they have a. Okay, these are, these, are some, these are some of the results. Interesting results. Funny, very interesting. Zero, <laughs> France, Namibia, 96 0. Interesting. New interesting. New okay, we are going to bring you to this studio. <laughs> Come and explain <laughs> how somebody can be somebody. 96 0, 73 0, 76 0, 84. What is happening? Is it not true? <laughs> these are the results in the rugby. Even I, Nigeria will not consider <laughs> this. <We are laughs> how can you be somebody? <laughs> 96 0, <laughs> 73 0. And the guy is, this is a World Cup. Yeah, it's exactly. not, this is a World Cup. Oh. This, they were the best rugby nations come together. Oh. And somebody's going to 71 0, 84 0, 96 0. It could have been hundreds. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, bring, we'll try and see if we can get in Tesla Okon here. In Tesla, we'll move in Tesla. Before the end, before the end of the, uh, I think uh, October 28th is when, when, the when the finals will be. So we'll bring in, we'll bring in Tesla. Okay. I said, okay. <laughs> you need to be fit. You need to be fit to do this. Oh. Okay. You need to you look at them. They, the you need Allah. to be fit <laughs> to do this. They run, they push. Go, man. They, uh, and and Kibido was talking about Testeron. These are the men that got this. These guys are the men. They have all the Testeron. The Testeron level that they have <laughs> is so high. Okay, so that, those are the things, like we said, but uh, uh, let's, on, a, on a lighter note, um, the Manchester United, um, you know, are uh, bidding. Okay, uh, uh, Chinoza is back. Chinoza, I hope this time we'll hear you well. Hello, Chinoza, how are you? Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon. My name Good. is Chinomsu Onya. Chinomsu Onya, Bida, okay. The Asian city of the Nupi Emirates in Niger State, Nigeria. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, some, someday we'll come to that Nupi Emirates. <laughs> yeah. Kube uh, Gidi, Kube Gidi. Okay, what are, say it again. Kube Gidi. I want to talk about uh, the match you played yesterday, uh, Super Eagles match yesterday. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, two, day, two days ago. Yeah, they played a two two. Yeah. In fact, I'm, I'm so, I'm so, I just looked, when I was watching that match, after the match, the balance of, uh, uh, of the Saudi Arabia, if I, if my, if, if my, uh, if I, if I'm not, if I'm correct, so Saudi Arabia is the ranked uh, 50, 50 something. Hello? Yeah, go on. But they, you remember Saudi Arabia beat Argentina at the World Cup, yeah, China, so you remember? Something. I remember, but uh -huh. I'm, I'm looking at the... the, the <laughs> that is, is great, though. And you talk about Nigeria that is ranked 30-something, 30 or 30-something in the world. It's playing South, South, uh, um, Saudi Arabia. So I was expecting that Nigeria should have beat Saudi Arabia out down. For but their, for know their rank, you know. <laughs> but, but, but what... what, what I find this afternoon is this. The, our problem, the problem that, that Nigeria is having is what? Number one, the uh, goalkeeping uh, department. Number two, we don't have OD midfielder and creative midfielder. No yeah, OD midfielder. That's what Jimmy said. Yeah. Understand Go me? On. So, and then lastly, our, our coach needs to, need to find the, the, the NFA, and NFF or NSA, or I don't know what they call them. They, they should both, uh, put more pressure on the coach, coaching uh, department, because they are look, I'm looking at it, I said, because what uh, the minister was uh, saying last time, that they, we need to go and uh, lift the cup in the, in, in the nation's cup in uh, Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah, that's it. That's... Now they need to go and some, do some rebuilding. In fact, I want to I, I encourage that they should go and do some scouting of uh, home base players to, uh, to join them in this uh, foreign base, so that we build up this our team. This is super easy because as I'm telling you, I don't expect anything from them in this uh, oncoming or upcoming uh, nations couple. I don't expect anything from these people. I'm telling you, that's my All own right. take. No, no problem. We'll get, we get better before then. Thank you, Chino. So, the, the, well, okay, you're not, you're not yet an ML. Okay, if I say any ML, no pity, we'll just go back and carry you. <laughs> and as well, no, attacks actually win you games. But defense win you trophies. Yes, and, yes. And somewhat, we are not having that confidence in our defense line. Alongside, is that, a, is that, is that, that why they're they playing friendly so you can try, you can try and, these players and, 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 and the see what is going to turn We never win friendlies out of 15. Out of 15, we had not won any. Do you want to win friendlies and lose competition, or you Ken, want to lose friendlies Ken, and win competition? Ken, you know, we are a competition. Answer my question, we're yes, competition yes, team. yes. But even within the scope of the friendlies, uh, you need to do a lot more better and win games. Now, I don't agree with that analogy that says because Argentina. Uh, um, uh, Saudi Arabia, Arabia beat, beat is ranked less. Yeah, that, uh -uh. that does it. I don't think it flows. Yeah. Because we see also that uh, Cote d'Ivoire and Morocco. Cote d'Ivoire is not... Is, I mean, uh, Morocco is like, like 25th or 26th. Yes. Cote d'Ivoire is 50. Uh, yeah, they, so, they played, they played one, and one And they played the one, one And In fact, Cote d'Ivoire even played a lot more better than Morocco. So what that means basically is leave the rankings and play. It is what you play on the field that you, you know, derive confidence from. Yeah. But what we did play against... Saudi Arabia. I don't think the Saudi uh, Arabians themselves are happy with that team at this point in time. It was almost like we allowed Mancini to keep his job. That complacency was there because we could have won that particular game. But as usual, we kept on pouring forward. That's a friendly. Where, Ken, it is, what we, it is what we do with our friendlies that we actually translate into match. Uh, match games where you can go where, on where we all win of, games, but see, we cannot, we I, cannot execute. All of, uh, you and all of you that are talking about all the friendlies, uh, you understand what the, the important thing is the friendlies are part of your preparations. I want to see us lose, or I don't care if we lose all our friendlies, so and we go over can, there. Can, there, is, there is one club, to, there is one club we, in England we, we that win all the presses, we, we win all the preseason trophy. Can I agree with you? And we, when we, it comes to the major team, that club will not win it. Can can you I understand? Agree, uh -huh. I agree with you. So but let's not be like that. Lead yes. us to win all our group games and we get to uh, call, um, elimination rounds and we falter. That's okay, the same younger, younger, younger you, you, you need, at least, the same are, you, are you excited with Victor Benefice, with, with the additions, all those people that Absolutely came into the team? Absolutely so. Yeah. Absolutely so. And I think we need more of that. You know, we talked about Divine Nwachuku at the point in time for Bendel Insurance. At the point, we're talking about Anna Yowala. Yes, maybe I'd moved from the MPFL. Yeah. But right now, we have the MPFL getting into full gear. 
we should have All right. proper scouting. Some of these we are players, going. We are going. I wouldn't talk. We didn't talk about MPFL. Yeah, I mean, so, uh, some games were some, played yesterday. Some games were played yesterday. If we get the result, but insurance I mean, won. I, I mean, it's it's fine to see insurance win a couple of um, drawn games. Yeah, because, yeah, those are, those are the results. Insurance yeah, one zero. Insurance one zero against Sunshine United. Sunshine Stars one one Heartland. Stars one against Atlanta. Katina United played out a 0 0 draw with Lobby Stars. And Lobby and Atlanta have got to be very excited. Yeah, that's today's games. Lagos, hospitality in Lagos versus Duma United. Aimba versus Aqua United. I think that's the, the, the pick of the day. Yeah. Uh, 3 AC and Gumbi United. These are games. Uh, Is Rivers United not playing? Uh, yeah. Uh, Bia Warriors and Kano Pillars. Uh, Rivers United and Quara United. There was, there was an issue yesterday about uh, Quara United having to train where they were disallowed and all that. I think it was resolved. Okay, Rangers, Rangers and Niger Tornadoes also will be squaring up. And Bayer United, United take on Remo Stars. Remo Stars. All right. Uh, uh, so those are, those, are, those, are, those are the games for today for football and then for every other thing. But like we say, if we want to search for a good goalkeeper, we want to search for a better team, I tell you this, as we prepare for... You know, Cote d'Ivoire, the next, the last time we're there, we won, we won silver. Okay. This time, we need to do gold. Upwardly, it has to be gold. Please, divine, don't take any more poison. Until next week, <laughs> I'm Ken Ochenogo. God bless Nigerians. <laughs>